You guys, it's not even 10 o'clock and I'm ready. Like, this never happens. I don't even know. I'm gonna go downstairs, just you watch. I'll post it on Snapchat. Just you watch. I'll go downstairs and it will be a complete disaster. So I guess that's what I get for being ready. But anyway, cute hair and makeup, right? <laughs> make sure to comment below and let me know if you like this video so that I know to make more. And um, subscribe below if you haven't. And let's get started. First things first is a makeup primer. This is Makeup Forever's Step 1 Base Hydrate. Next up is foundation. This is Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And this stuff, you guys, it is so awesome. I am obsessed. Most of you know I don't have the most amazing skin. It's something I'm always a little bit self-conscious of. And this product hides my blemishes so well. I'm just going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki and just buff it all over the skin. Um, but I really love this. It has concealer built right in, so it's just one less step, plus it's full coverage. But it's still light and fresh feeling. I don't know. It comes with a built-in applicator, which is really cool. It makes things easy. And it wears awesome. He'll love it. I'll make sure to leave the link and to this product and all the products that I'm using in the description below. So make sure to check them out. And because I don't want to look like a ghost for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to do my lips. This is Max Soar Lip Liner. This is really the only lip liner that I use and then I just blend it with all the lipstick colors that I have. So this is um, actually Burt's Bees new lipstick line and it's awesome. This is Fuchsia Flood. Just as a very natural, almost raspberry color. And on to the eyebrows, I'm taking Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Taupe and just filling my brows in with an angled brush. I've actually been trying a few other products the last couple weeks and none of them have even held a candle to this stuff. It is by far my favorite. It just lasts all day long. Because I'm so fair, I just go really natural with the eyebrows. I don't try to give myself bigger brows than I have, so I'm just slightly filling them in. This is Max Paint Pot in Painterly, and I'm just using it as my eyeshadow primer. I like it because it brightens the eye a bit and then helps the shadow to really pop and stick onto the eyelid. And then I'm going to be using Stila's Kitten Color. Oh, I love this color so much, you guys. It's pretty much the first color that goes on my lids every day. It's just the perfect shimmer and base to everything. And then I'm pulling out my chocolate bar palette, putting a little bit of white chocolate under my eyebrows. And then the strawberry bonbon color is going to go all over the lid. And I don't know why it's not showing up super great in the camera, but I swear you can see it. And it's really pretty. <laughs> this Sigma palette has become one of my favorites. I used it so much in the fall and winter, and it's just transitioned so well into spring. Just going to take this pink color and use a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blend it into the crease. Then I'm going to use this mocha color and just layer it over the pink to give it some more dimension. This is a great transition color, but it's dark enough that it works well in the crease too. This is Sigma's eyeliner gel plus their winged brush. Okay, so basic winged liner tip. Your lower lash line has an angle to it, and you just want to follow that angle up to the end of your eyebrow. And I'm so sorry this is blurry, stupid camera. <laughs> it's a bad habit, but I just pull the skin taut, and then following that invisible line, I drag the liner down to the corner of my eyelid and I actually have hooded eyes so you'll notice that when I look up the angle sort of changes and I've always had issues getting it to work but practice makes perfect and I've been practicing so hard to make it work and right now I'm just obsessed with wing liner so anyway you just want to drag that color onto your eyelid and then I have almond shaped eyes so I want the liner to be thinner near my tear duct to help round out the eye if you have really round eyes though you can make that liner the same thickness on your lid kind of like a rainbow and then for the mascara this is I think you say it pure <laughs> this is pure fully charged mascara and I love this it's nourishing and conditioning and the applicator is like amazing I feel like sometimes they're too small or too big and this one is perfect it just grabs all my lashes and I feel like it um, just helps promote healthy lash growth and then I actually like to curl my lashes after I put my mascara on I know it's super weird I, I don't like to open my curler either I just push the lashes up with it closed and I hold it for just a few seconds for the lashes to kind of set that curl and then I pull it away and I have super curly eyelashes see told you <laughs> Another trick is you can actually heat the curler up with your um, blow dryer too. That works great. Now I'm just using the contour stick and I'm just going to lightly contour. I don't want to be heavy with the contour anymore because it's summer so we're not really going for like a thick contour but I still like to add some dimension back into my face. 
So I'm just using the angled brush from Sigma and this is the 3D HD Sigma brush and I'm just blending it all in. And before finishing everything up, I'm just going to add some concealer under my eyes to kind of brighten everything up. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream from IT Cosmetics and I really like it. It doesn't settle in my creases, which I'm getting so many of under my eyes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just blending it with my finger or I have a tapered brush that I really like too. And we're almost done, I swear. This is Pure's Strobe Palette. I love this. It's a really great highlighter. It just evenly glides onto the skin and it just adds like a healthy shimmer. Kind of makes your dull face look like you're just glowing. I love it. And then I'm finally going to add mascara onto the lower lid. And then this is, I think it's Bare Minerals Blush. And I'm just adding it on. Well, I can't came out powdery. Um, I'm just adding it onto the apples of my cheeks. This is just a really pretty pink color. I'll make sure to leave the color in the description. And then last but not least, I'm just going to set everything with the Bye Bye Pores. Um, it's IT Cosmetics. Anyway, it's like a micro powder and it's just translucent so you can't see it, but it just sets all those creams that we used. And then last minute, I decided to add some, this is like a linen pink color to my waterline. This is actually a highbrow from Benefit and it's kind of overrated. I would just get a cheap like Maybelline pencil. And finally, on to the hair. So I haven't washed my hair in a few days. I'm just going to take the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I also I like Batiste and Suave Living Proof is definitely my favorite. It smells better, it wears better, it just feels better all around, and I feel like it actually cleans the hair. And then just let it sit for a second, let it absorb all those oils, and then you're going to take your fingers and just kind of rub it out. Then you're just going to take a section of hair near your part, split it into two sections, and then take the front section up, and then add a section to the bottom section twist the sections together away from your face, add a new section to the bottom, and just spray with hairspray if you have a lot of flyaways like I do, and then twist up, and you're just adding um, new sections of hair just to the bottom, so just to one of those sections. And then once you reach about your temple-ish, <laughs> you're going to actually twist the sections um, the same direction, so I'm twisting towards my face, both of the sections, and then I'm twisting the sections together away from my face. This is just your little bohemian twist. And once you reach the bottom, go ahead and I like to tie off with a clear elastic just to kind of make sure the twist is secure. And then I like to just go back and kind of fluff that twist out so that it looks a little bit bigger. And then right about here, you'll notice that it falls out a little bit. So you're just going to grab that twist and rotate your wrist back. And then you can go ahead and take a bobby pin and just secure it in place. And then I like to just remove the elastic because it's easier to fluff out the twist without it. Um, so yeah, just pull on the twist to make it thick and full, and then tie it off with a clear elastic when you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe below, and um, yeah, leave a comment or give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so that I can know to make more. Okay? I love you guys, and we'll see you next week for a new tutorial. Bye!